The research program in Conductor under the CPS Mini Consortium on Wide Band Gap High Power Conversion Systems, also known as WBG HPCS, focuses on high power, low voltage, and medium voltage applications for great industrial and transportation applications and builds on more than three decades of experience developing AC and DC power conversion solutions at the center. This goes from high efficiency resonant and modular three phase converters in the 1990s to high power density and extreme efficiency converters for marine and aerospace applications at the turn of the century, where CPS pioneered the use of silicon carbide and gallium nitride devices, all the way to power converters with ever increasing power and voltage handling capabilities over the last decade, which has been enabled primarily by the adoption of medium voltage silicon carbide devices, including the sought after 10 kb silicon carbide MOSFET. But WBG HPCS doesn't stop at the converter level. It goes deep into the enabling technologies that make possible efficiency levels that are currently approaching 99.5% and volumetric and gravimetric figures that exceed the state of the art by nearly an order of magnitude. This is especially true in medium voltage applications. This includes new MI suppression and containment strategies, novel installation system design methodologies, and the customized, optimized design of ancillary circuitry, which plays a critical role in high power silicon carbide and gallium nitride converters. For instance, FPGA controlled gate drivers with integrated sensors and reinforced EMI resiliency. Optimized power supplies with minimized input output capacitance. Modular sensors with optically isolated digital interfaces and advanced communication and control networks and digital controllers with sub nanosecond synchronization capability, among others. A most unique capability of the consortium is the study of dynamic interactions and stability in electrical systems with high penetration of power electronics. In effect, CPS played a key role in the 1980s developing DC distribution systems for space applications, which had to deal with the constant parallel dynamics inherent to the operation of DC-DC converters. This phenomenon resurfaced later on in the development of more electric aircraft and ships, which saw CPS expand the stability analysis and theory into high-power AC and DC distribution systems. This unknowingly prepared the center to effectively cope with the rich dynamic environment created by the integration of renewable energy into the grid. Some key contributions made by the center in this field include the analysis of PLL-based interactions, the impact and benefits of grid-forming inverters, and the development of the first impedance measurement unit in the world capable of assessing the stability conditions at any AC or DC system interface. In all, the volume and breadth of the topics investigated within the consortium is paramount, which has been possible thanks to the additional support received from several U.S. government agencies, including the Office of Naval Research, the U.S. Department of Energy, RPAE, NASA, and NSF, to name a few, which have allowed us to effectively quadruple the research expenditures for the consortium and ultimately the results and the technological advancements that we proudly share with our members. The world runs on electric energy. Today, power electronics play an increasingly crucial role in every aspect of our lives and every corner of our society. CPAS has enjoyed great success in the past decades kept inventing technologies that enabled today's IT and the telecom industry. We have now expanded that ambition to enable a revolution in the energy infrastructure industry, creating the grid of the future. With the faster penetration of renewable energies, such as onshore and offshore wind and the large solar farms, fundamentally different thinking is needed for the power transmission system. Where power electronics is becoming the future power system, and 100% of a grid power may come from renewables. The fast growth of EV calls for a very different power distribution system with the millions of distributed resources, including commercial charging station networks on the grid. The grid infrastructure will kick back into revolution mode again now after more than 100 years of a slow evolution. And we are heading towards a grid with the embedded intelligence through power electronics integration of renewables, HVDC, fax, and energy storage. In that technological transformation, the digital technologies such as data analytics and machine learning will play an important role in this increasingly complex future power system. Coming back from industry after 23 years of developing innovative technologies to increase capability and performance of medium voltage power conversion technologies by 10 times reaching 100 megawatts, and a high voltage power conversion technology to over two gigawatts. It is an incredibly exciting time to return back to CPAS, working with other talented faculty at CPAS
to continue that journey of innovation with a close collaboration with the equipment suppliers and the utility industry partners, national labs, and the government agencies. The new 10 kV silicon carbide MOSFET modules enable transformerless medium voltage DC power distribution architectures, allowing drastic improvements in their efficiency and power density. At CPES, we have designed and evaluated a three-phase, two-level direct-to-line inverter building block that is ideally suited for the development of modular PV central inverters, facilitating PV technology at utility scale. The 200 kilowatt inverter block rated for 11 kilovolt AC and 16 kilovolt DC is realized by the design of an equivalent 20 kilovolt switch and careful insulation coordination of the inverter system. A digital gate driver successfully implements gate timing based active voltage balancing for the series connection of two 10 kV MOSFETs while innovative PCB based AC and DC distributed capacitor arrays help achieve partial discharge-free operation. The main research contributions of this work include detailed analysis of parasitic capacitors' impact on the voltage sharing of series-connected silicon carbide MOSFETs and their body diodes, and the development of electric field control techniques for critical power converter assemblies. The Medium Voltage Circuits project, funded by ARPA-E, seeks to demonstrate benefits of silicon carbide-based modular converters switching at medium voltage, high current, high switching frequency, having an unrestricted line frequency operation for applications such as electric grid interface, electric ship DC system, propulsion motor drive, and many others. To overcome the challenges of high voltage insulation, high DVD-T, high switching frequency and fast protection, numerous new key technologies are developed, such as enhanced gate driver, auxiliary powered supply network, PCB, planner bus and high density inductor. To further elevate silicon carbide based design, high density and high efficiency, novel high bandwidth control strategies such as switching cycle control and integrated capacitor block transistor or ICBT as well as high-performance, high-bandwidth communication network are further explored. All these technologies combined enable silicon carbide-based 6 kV power cell with 12 kW per liter power density and efficiency of 99.3% switching at 10 kHz. When employed in two cell per arm converter operating at 12 kV, maximum efficiency of 99.2% is achievable, meanwhile having minor capacitor voltage imbalances of maximum 300 volts for both switching cycle control and ICBT. Converter can operate in both standard DC-AC mode and DC-DC mode, which is greatly desired in MVDC microgrids and shipboard MVDC distribution.